Hello there, good morning. Scotland's prosecution service is failing victims when preparing and prosecuting domestic abuse cases. The Crown Office said it accepts the report's recommendations and is working to make changes. Now, elsewhere, MSPs are expected to vote in favour of increasing the minimum unit price for alcohol from 50 to 65 pence. The change is due to be rubber stamped at Holyrood later. The Conservatives are calling for the Hate Crime Act to be scrapped and are using their debating time at Holyrood to table a vote on whether the legislation should be repealed. Their Justice spokesman, Russell Finlay, says it's on. And finally, a new film studio complex in Stirling could be ready for lights, cameras and action in just two years. The same. And now Kirsty McCabe has your weather forecast. And that's all from us for the moment, but we will be back with another update for you in around half an hour's time. So I do hope that you can join us for that. Bye bye. Hello there. Good morning. Scotland's prosecution service is failing victims when preparing and prosecuting domestic abuse cases. That's according to the. The Crown Office said it accepts the report's recommendations and is working to make changes. Now, elsewhere this morning, MSPs are expected to vote in favour of increasing the minimum unit price for alcohol from 50 to 65 pence. The change is due to be rubber stamped at Holyrood later. The Conservatives are calling for the Hate Crime Act to be scrapped and are using their debating time at Holyrood to table a vote on whether the legislation should be repealed. Their Justice spokesman, Russell Finlay, says it's a. And lastly, a new film studio complex in Stirling could be ready in just two years. The site at Forth. OK, now Kirsty McCabe takes a look at the weather. And that's all from us for the moment, but we'll have another update for you in half an hour. See you then. Bye bye. Hello there, good morning. Scotland's prosecution service is failing victims when preparing and prosecuting domestic abuse cases. Well Elsewhere this morning, MSPs are expected to vote in favour of increasing the minimum unit price for alcohol from 50 to 65 pence. And finally, a new film studio complex in Stirling could be ready for lights, cameras and action in just two years' time. And that's all for now. Bye-bye. Hello there, good afternoon. MSPs are expected to vote to increase the minimum price at which alcohol can be sold by 30%. Scotland was the first country to introduce the measure in 2018 in hopes of tackling high rates of alcohol-related deaths and hospital admissions. Doctors support the increase but still have concerns around support for the most vulnerable drinkers, as Georgina Hayes now reports. The average cost of rent increased faster in Scotland than the rest of the UK. That's despite Scottish Government attempts to limit rises. Scotland's prosecution service is failing victims when preparing and prosecuting domestic abuse cases. That's according to the prosecution inspector who says better communication with survivors is needed and a more victim-centred approach. And a warning for you now that Morag Kinnebra's report does contain some details you may find distressing. Elsewhere, a bereaved mother has said her son was butchered in a post-mortem she did not agree to. The Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service is responsible for investigating sudden deaths here. It said they recognised the impact a post-mortem had on families and added that the Lord Advocate might support changes that minimised distress to them. Now, elsewhere, Glasgow's I Write Book Festival will go ahead in a scaled-down format thanks to a last-minute donation. The and finally, works beginning on a new film studio complex being built on a former Ministry of Defence barracks at Stirling. OK, let's take a look at your weather forecast now. And Christopher Blanchett is with us. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Thanks very much indeed. For now. OK, Christopher, thank you very much for the update as always. And that's all from us here this lunchtime. But Laura Miller will be back with all of your news, sport and weather during Reporting Scotland at 6.30 tonight. Bye-bye for now.